What's up guys and welcome back to the Drift Games YouTube channel. Today we are back on Josh's MX-5 as we're going to do some new wheels and we're going to do some aero parts as well. So we're going to finish off the look of the car. He's bringing it now into the garage. We're going to try and figure out some stuff. He's got some really tasty new wheels. So I'm looking forward to seeing them on the car. And this is kind of like the final touches before we get it ready for track testing. So let's get the car in the garage and let's get to work. And we're going to do some sort of aero. We haven't decided if we're putting the canal things at the side. We're doing canals on the bumper. We're putting a splitter on. We're just going to decide. We're going to see how it goes. We have all of them. We have all of the canards and splitters. We have all the canards and no, splitters. No, we don't. They're all off 180. Like, well, yeah. well, yeah, we've got to make them. That's, that's the whole fun of it. That's the fun part of the video, Mike. Yeah, that's a time consuming part. I don't see a time lapse. We'll just do a time lapse. It'll take like 30 seconds. We've learned the time lapse. Just do the time lapse. So fast. And then everything just gets done. We should time lapse every video, and then every video will be about a minute long and so much work. We need to know us as well. We'll just be here and gone. Yeah. Well, no, because the reality is we're still here for the eight hours. Really? Is that the magic of the video? You would never know. All right, let's get to work. 7.20, Bob. So as you can guess, I've gone for 720 wheels. Yeah. I didn't see that coming. Are you excited? See, I can tell you've already opened the box. It's the best for you never get new wheels, isn't it? Yeah, but I didn't even get to do the slicing thing open. And the reveal's even just so close. New wheels. So these are, they're not too, they're not too different from the other ones. They're 720 style 51s. And it's just a bit of a different look. I don't think the grey goes as well on the car. Now it's all colourful. I really like the fact that they're uh, matte centres and the gloss lip. Yeah. I think that looks sick. So it's kind of like a bit of jazz. So are we putting these all around, fronts and rears, and then the ones that are on the car are now going to be your spares? Is that what's I'm happening? I'm going to have spare wheels. You're going to have spare wheels? Which will amaze you the most, seeing as at every event, I yeah. just have these wheels. Just so everyone knows, when we're at a bash, Josh parks lengthways across the garage door, jacks up his car, removes his wheels, and then complains that he's to wait an hour in the queue, while we can't get out by his car. It's annoying. It's annoying for You're everyone You're annoying, to be honest with you. Yes, I may be annoying. But now, you never get that problem. Yeah, no. So, but I think purple and yellow both go well black. So I reckon they're going to look all right. Look, you're asking a man whose favorite color is black. Should we cut to the montage and then see how they look? Do a montage! You go for the montage? Yeah, do it. We're st stealing from Wayne. We're not, we're borrowing. What? We're borrowing from Wayne. We're, we're, we're good for what we give back. Good for what we give back. You know, we're good, we always give back, it's fine. So um, for the front, we have some yoke panels. So we've got these from the tire box. So these will be the sticky fronts. Hopefully, that will make me a better drifter. Keep, have more grip. I don't know. So uh, one more thing to add. So on the fronts, I was running the Achilles, which do still have quite a bit of tread left. So we were gonna chuck these on the front, but then since the car has been mapped for higher horsepower, we're now, Mike, I'm not sure if you know this. So we're gonna chuck the Achilles on the back to see what it is actually like on semi-slicks. No way. No, it's not happening. It is. It's not happening. Why would you just break it? Just run it on road tires. It's not gonna break it. So it's more of an experiment. They're kind of old, so I reckon they may have lost a bit of grip. But it's an experiment. 300 horsepower on that, and then if we do put it up against Dave's car, Come on, it could be a rocket ship. Well, what do you think? If uh, you think it's going to be faster, slower, let us know, make your predictions, and then on the next test day, we shall see. I'm watching carefully, Mike. Let's see. Is it paced? Is it coming out? It's not paced, not paced. We're good. Once it goes to the, f at least if they go on the car with no marks, that's all I want. After that, it's, it's, you know the it's first, a free, you know the first yeah, track oh, yeah, yeah. there's going to be a 350 inside of your car either way, like, so it doesn't make a difference. Well, just don't hit the wheels. Unlike what Dave did. You hit my, you hit my wheels. You got inside of the wheel. 
Yeah, that was with my tire as well, so I didn't do no damage to my car at all, which was ideal. Just yeah, and then you did that all the way around. You can't be minding your wheels now. This, the minute you start drifting, do you think the guy at the tire van at the event is going to look like Mike going, let's just take some time here for Josh's wheels. He loves these wheels. It's going to be bam, bang. It's like Mike taking so much time to get my car. My car is going to take so much time to get looking great. Take 20 photos of it. And that's the last time it'll ever look like that again. We spent so much time on all the fitment of everything and getting all nice and tidy and no, taking this time with the screws. No. You're, you're, you're messing, you're messing. <laughs> no, no, we're good. It's all right, it's meet your standard, is it? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. You have marked it. Good Mike! Your tire's going to cover it! No, it's not! Right then, you put on the last wheel. I don't know how to. I said you can spend too long worrying about aesthetics and then it just gets wrecked. The first lap, someone's just going to plow into the back wheel of your car. It's going to be down to the 350s, so it doesn't make a difference to me. Yeah, we're funny. And then we're going to be like, great fun, happy days, isn't that class? And then they're going to be like, oh, I forgot about Mike. Uh, and then we'll, we'll shoot back to you giving yeah, it to Mike. It, Mike. <laughs> you damaged it, Mike! We interrupt this video to give a very special shout out to one of our partners here at Drift Games, Mobile One Oil. Mobile One Oil is used by some of the best drifters in the game, such as these guys. As you can see, even I made the cut into the best drivers in the game. What? So yeah, Mobile One is used by the best drifters in the world and me. Okay, so we've just put the new wheels on and it's now in the air, so we, you can't really get a good perspective of, what's on the pit there, of what it's like. But from first glance, in my honest opinion, I think the black goes much better with the yellow and purple than the grey did originally. But, so these wheels, they go in, I'm not sure how ET works, minus 10, plus 10, so they're, they're in a tiny bit to them, they're ET zero. So maybe, we may be able to lower it. On the back, I'm not too sure because it always did rub on the back, but on the front, we could never lower it anymore because the tyres actually stuck out a bit because the semi-slick tyres they don't stretch as much as the road tires, but it looks to me, and they are cambered when you lower it in, so it may be in the arch quite a bit, so we may lower it more. One of the things when the car is at eye level, which I regret doing now, you end up poking around, and as you can see, the sill is, well, I poked a hole in the sill, which is notorious in MX-5, is that the sill goes, and I think these are the original sills in the car, so the, the side skirt does technically go over the top of them, so I'm not too sure if you'd be able to do a bit of maybe a crew job of cutting that out and over the top, and you'd never be able to see that anyways because the side skirt would go over. So I reckon that'd be a future problem, I would say. So we're not 100% sure what we're going to do with the front. We kind of... We have all of these fiberglass parts, so what I'm thinking is almost a definite. We're gonna have these here, and I think it could be quite a cool look on both sides with a bit of a gap in the middle. So that's the first thing that we're gonna do. We're gonna put them on the sides, and then we have, well, we can make, we're planning on making some canards for the bumper. So we've got the side of this, and also this piece. So, we're gonna try and fashion something. The way people do it is they cut it out, make a cardboard template, and then they trace it onto here and put it on accordingly. So I'm thinking to join that line up to there and then chop it so it would be in line with the tire coming out and hopefully somewhat in line with the other canard. I'm not too sure if any of this uh, line up or if it go to plan or any of that, but that is 
the plan. I'm guessing we're going to experiment, we're going to see how it goes, and hopefully by the end of today, we shall have the front fully done. So we're put on the side bits, and then we shall go from there with the canards, I guess. Getting on? We don't know yet. Like we made it out of card. It's rough enough. Rough is good though. Isn't it? But it, it kind of seems like it doesn't look like we're going to use that. So technically, you've got a spare splitter now, which, which I would is definitely a good need. Thing. Definitely need a spare splitter for sure. So this is the, actually the off offcuts from your skirts. So we're recycling. Recycling. So this is just going to be scrap. Your car is so small that the offcuts of my side skirts can do your whole. The funny thing canard. is, the canard things that are on there at the moment, the side splat things, is almost goes across to make a splitter almost. I, I'd say on a 180 they wouldn't even come close, but on this no, they're, they're, near, they're nearly the there. Corner, and then that's almost like a splitter itself. All right, cool. I'm looking forward to seeing it. You've got cardboard, you're laying it out on the fiberglass, and you're going to cut out of that and then somehow mount it to the car. That's yeah. the plan. Yeah, that's the and then we get the new wheels on, drop it and see how it looks. Yeah, and then we get the whole look in one. Exciting. I know, right? Back to time lapse. <laughs> So we're just about finished one of the canards, and now we've bent the other one, but now realize you have to turn it the other way. That's Quickly de-bending it. Not the still right. There you go, there she is. Now, and we just, if this has straightened out a bit, I'll just reheat it. And re it, if it has. Hopefully this should half the job, I would say. That's still okay, right? That's fine, that's perfect. It is going to be um, supported by screws, so it will hold some of the yeah. flex, and over time it yeah. will. I just need to get another bit up. Yeah. Okay, so now we've completed the canards. Mike is painting them. Yeah, I'm painting them because Josh was painting them, and I asked him to pre clean them down, and there was a can of pre cleaner and a can of paint thinners. And uh, guess which one Josh used? Paint thinners. <laughs> In, 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 in my defense, where is the, the where is it? Fitters, degrees. It looks exactly the same. It doesn't look exactly the same. It different. does. That's like me saying, um, you know, difference between a lens and a hard drive. There's two completely different things, Josh, you know? They have to look pretty similar as well. Yeah, it's really a big difference on which one you the car. And people make that mistake all the time. Yeah, well, I suppose not reading the instructions is a big part of your... Or, not even instructions, just what it says just in the can. Just what it says on it, yeah. We're not reading what, the actual... Is this my black or primer, Josh? You're telling me. They both look the same. Simple mistake. Easily. So, we, Mike made these up. So, what are you going to do? Bend them and Bend them whatever way you want, and yeah. And then we'll do one screw down and one screw into your bumper. Probably just the classic black tech screw. And From yeah. a foot back, you won't even see them. It's black on black, kid. So that is the next plan. So, hopefully, after this montage, they'll be on the car. Hopefully, if it all goes to plan. Oh yeah. yeah. I think that's a very good job, Tommy. Every time for the first 10 minutes, I have to look at that. And I don't know which button I press to get it off. Thanks, Dave. Josh, happy with the outcome? Yeah. Actually, turned out how I imagined it, which very rarely happens, I think. It's the first time that's happened on this car. Yeah. And it seems to be on. First gravel trap now. That's... You'll scoop the stones nicely from this one up into this one and fire the stones. Well, no, it's kind of like aerodynamic, so the stones would just nicely go into the middle, <laughs> I would say. It does look awesome. The wheels look amazing on it. You've got more clearance, which is good. Don't focus on the bit that got scratched. It's definitely going to get scratched this year when it goes to the Irish Drift Series. 
backs, nice little stats on the back, like that. See, the problem was, because when I brought the wheels out to like a zero camber again, that was scraped on there massively, so I could never, it was obviously sitting a bit higher. I reckon you could, see, I don't know. I think it's come out, it's come out very well. I wouldn't go too aggressive. I know you could stance it out to the nines if it's a roll see, car. But with, you, with this, you, you could get away with lowering it more, but then again, but if you hit something, then I destroy all the things that, well, the thing I'm thinking is you might actually want to soften the suspension in the rain for a bit more grip or something like that. On a road car, you're not I've adjusting. I've never had the option of softening. Exactly. So now you have that option and you've got good coilovers. You should really leave it that it has a bit to squat because uh, it's got a bit of power now, this little thing. So, But it's actually turned out really well. So that's pretty much, bar small things, that's pretty much the outside done. That's 100% bar, bar doing all the bump bars and stuff like that. That's, that's done. So you're going to get all that stuff painted up, that's the last thing to do, and then the safety gear, and then you're going to go test it. We can test it before we do all that. Yes, where we can, but <laughs> we now have cars that somewhat turned out as we thought they would, which is a very... Do you just think if the season had have started when it did, when it should have, both of these cars would not look, we would definitely not have looked like this. Both of these cars would have looked very, very different, but I'm really happy with it. Like so. Yours is only just done. I don't know when yours would have been done. Mine would have still not had all the, the extra bits on it, so I'm really happy with how things turn out. So now I'm delighted with how it's turned out. We've only got little fiddly bits soon now, so that's good. And we've got about, what, eight weeks into the start of the championship from this point on, so that's we pretty can good. take it handy. We can do some testing in Mandela. We can actually make sure the cars work for once, rather than just turning up to the event going, let's hope they work. Yeah. So, <laughs> Josh, we, next time we're going to see this, oh, next time we're going to see this little car, it's going to be on track, having fun. Oh, well, yeah. So that's an, that's an exciting episode. I think we're all looking forward to Next week. Maybe next I mean, week. I'm just going to push you on camera to say next week. Maybe next week. We'll see, we'll see what Mondello say, but hopefully we can get out for a bit of testing. So there you go, guys. Josh's car is now ready for testing. That's coming up in an episode very soon. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell on. If you're enjoying the vlogs, let us know in the comments what you think of Josh's car. Did it turn out pretty cool? Would you, if you're an MX-5 fan, would you want an MX-5? Do you even like MX-5s? Do you think this is a cool MX-5? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next episode.